Pokemon. It's just about the best thing ever. Or, at least it is to me. Ever since I was little, Pokemon's been my favorite game franchise of all time. I still remember the day I got Pokemon Red. It was my older brother's birthday, and I was still young enough to get a present to keep me quiet while seeing my brother open all of his, being as I was about three at the time. I remember sitting in the corner with my teal Game Boy Color and not stop playing Pokemon until bedtime. I hadn't even turned it off for birthday cake. Since then, I've played almost every Pokemon game that's ever been made, and I've made it a personal goal to own all of them complete in box. Heck, I love it so much, I got my favorite boy permanently tattooed on my arm. There's just so much to Pokemon that's kept me interested this long. Before I just liked to play Pokemon for the stories, trade with friends, but as I get older, I needed more out of them, and I found the immensely deep mechanics under the hood, and I got into competitive battling, shiny hunting, completing the Pokedex. My point is, Pokemon has a lot of things in it, but most importantly, it has frogs. That's right. Welcome back to Frog Hunt, a series where we hop from game to game and take a dive to find some froggy friends. And here's the deal. There aren't a whole lot of frog-based Pokemon, but they are spread out amongst many games from over two decades. It would take a very long time to do a frog hunt on all of frog Pokemon across every game. And maybe one day, I can do a frog hunt on like a specific game, but for now I have something fun planned. I'm going to rank all the frog based Pokemon and probably make some people angry in the process because this is my personal definitive list. And I'm going to count Tadpole Pokemon as well, just to add some variety. Alright, so we're just going to go right down the list here. And X and Y, one of my favorite Pokemon games, but uh, Froki, probably my least favorite. Fanakin and Chespin are just, I like them a lot better as far as designs go. I'm going to put Froki in B, and I can already feel the hatred going for me. Uh, Frogadier is an awkward middle stage. Um, yeah, he's gonna go C. And Greninja, he gets the A. Yeah, he's an A class. Um, Timpole, did not like him the first time I saw him, as with most black and white Pokemon, but as with all black and white Pokemon, they slowly grew over me, grew, grew on me over time. I mean, like, just look at that face. He's trying his best here. He's gonna go, he's gonna go in B. He's a cute design. But then this guy, Palpatode, uh, he doesn't seem functional. Like, Timpole gets a pass. He doesn't have any arms or legs. He's a tadpole. This is like the most awkward middle stage. Like, look at these little stumpy arms. What can this thing even do? He's going in D. Seismitoad is a great Pokemon who you see a lot of play on like rain teams and everything. And his typing gives him really good coverage as far as immunities go. Um, he's going to go in B. The little warts are a little off putting. And I mean, if we didn't see this one coming, boop. there's no arguing that one. Ivysaur, very good Pokemon. One of the only that gives me a run for my money as far as uh, if Bulbasaur is my favorite. So he's going to get the S class. Venusaur is my least favorite of the line. I'm not going to lie, but it's still a really solid design. So he's going to go, he's going to go C. And then um, Mega Venusaur is just, you know, he has more flower. He has more flower and bigger flower. Um, it's a functional design, but but not as creative as the other Mega Evolutions, I think. And then uh, Gigantamax Venusaur, freaking love him. When he was announced, I screamed. I was really happy. He's gonna go in A class. He looks like I don't, he's just great. He's perfect. Poliwag is super cute, but that weird little puckered mouth always throws me off. It's Kind of creepy, but his cute—he's a cute enough design. He's gonna go and be. Uh, Poliwhirl is pretty good, but he's just—you know—he grew arms. And then Poliwrath is just like bigger, angrier Poliwhirl, but his typing is pretty cool with the water fighting. So he's gonna go in B class. Politoed is a great Pokemon. Another one you always see on rain teams. You can't do without him. He's great. Uh, Krogunk, uh, his design's great and all. But what really does it for me is his walking animation, sword and shield, and all of a sudden he sees you, he's like, boom, he's right on you. Um, he's gonna go, he's gonna go in A. I really like Krogunk. And Toxicroak, they're, both of their typings aren't great, and just that four times weakness to, to Psychic um, is gonna bring him down one notch, I think. He's gonna go in B. So yeah, this is the definitive list of frog-based Pokemon, and you can't argue with this because it's absolute fact. Um, <laughs> So yeah, if you want to do this one yourself, I'll leave the link in the uh, description, and then uh, you can actually, if you want, 
I don't really know how Twitter works, but um, you can send uh, send a picture of your list here to um, I don't know if it's Bulb's Tree or Frog Hunt IRL. Like I said, I have no idea how Twitter works, but just send me send me your list on Twitter. I want to I want to see what other people think. And if Bulbasaur is not at the top, then uh, you're dead to me. <laughs> Thank you for watching.